welcome to immature designer today we will be talking about how we can make these kinds of shapes using a tool in your adobe illustrator so this has been made by using the tool called shape builder which you can if you are not having in your toolbar then you can go in uh, into this edit toolbar three dots option and you can enable it from wherever you find it you can just select it and drag it so so we are going to use the tool called shape builder tool and you can also activate it using shift plus m okay so what is the use of shape builder tool it is basically used to create a unique shape by combining different shapes and erasing some of them so first of all we will learn how we can make this kind of shape it's very simple you have to take three ellipses one two and three and then what you have to do first step is making what you want and you have to imagine and you can just select it and then you can imagine properly that what you want to make is it forming over there or not you can use combination of different colors to help you now you have to make sure that whatever vector you are making you have to make sure that the vector has a filled color in it because in the stroke version it can have filled and stroke both or it can have stroke filled it cannot have only stroke because in that case when you will use the shape builder tool then the work will not be completed the thing that you want won't happen it needs to be filled the vector needs to be filled so you have to make sure that the vector is filled and then you have to create your shape and when you are done just select all of them using this um, selection tool and then you can select all the shapes and then you have to go to your shape builder tool select it and then you have to press alt you can see that your mouse is having a plus sign but when i am pressing an alt button in my keyboard then the plus is turning into minus so you are basically subtracting your shape so plus and then i'm pressing so it's minus so you have to make sure that you have pressed the alt button and then you will just hover over your shape and you'll find that some of them are getting hatched so this hatching means this part will be erased so what we want is that we want to erase this part this part and this part you can also erase strokes you can select the strokes or you can select the fill you can also just run your mouse like this and select shapes but right now we'll do this one so as you can see our first method first shape is created now we will try to make this one this one is very easy you just have to make a circle and then you have to make a ellipse around that circle just like this and this and this and um like this so you're done and then what i want you to do is that when you have created your shape you have to select all the shapes that you have created and then you have to select the shape builder tool and then you have to press my alt key and then you have to erase like this whatever you have made and you can create the shape you want and then you leave your mouse and all button and then you will find the shape is created and now this is one unit moving like this so this one is also created now let's just create this umbrella to make the umbrella we will first make a rectangle and then we have to go to this three dots option and then we will select over here as 50 and in this side also 50 so somewhat like this and then we will take the ellipse and then we we'll create small circles over here to give the feel of an umbrella done select all the shapes like this we need to go to the shape builder tool press alt key and erase all of this to create the umbrella shape done so this is how you can easily use the shape builder tool to create any kind of shape you want this is one of the most useful and most frequently used tool in adobe illustrator so like the video and subscribe the channel Thank you.